So what's it like pulling into a venue as a band's audio tech and connecting to a provided rig? The setup, the sound check, and the show. I was recently asked to mix a band on one of their dates that the regular sound man couldn't be at. The band is normally self-contained as far as their backline, monitor rig, and front of house console. So they need racks and stacks provided as part of their contract with the venue. But their front of house console would be with the regular sound person, so not at this gig. So this was a good first opportunity to try out the Midas M32R that I just recently purchased from Sweetwater. First things first, I had to get the gig details and the band's input list from the band. And then I had to advance the show with the provider to make sure we were all on the same page with the stage and audio. In the lead up to show day, I created a baseline show file to work from. This gave me a head start with roughed in settings, setting up the effects, routing, and establishing a starting point for the mix. I also made some adjustments to their input list to suit my preferences. For example, I wanted to add a bottom snare mic and move a few things around so they'd fall on the console in the order that I wanted. I also needed to make sure the outputs were routed correctly since I'd be sending left, right, sub, and fill to the provided sound system. With everyone following directions that helped us to avoid a parade that was happening at the same time as the scheduled load-in time, we all made it to the stage. The band has set carts that both transport equipment as well as become part of their set. And they have risers and a lighting package, all needing to be set up. Meanwhile, I set up my console at front of house and set up my DL32 at the stage. With 200 feet of tour grade shielded Cat5 E cable with Ethercons between front of house and the DL32. The band has the tails of their analog splitter labeled by source, which means I can connect to the DL32 in the order I prefer and not have to cross-reference numbers. This also makes adding any extra lines to front of house, like my bottom snare mic, easy enough because I'm not throwing off a number system. Since there's also an opening band to be on the house console and the ongoing parade announcements, Rather than swapping out drive lines, I just opted to use four channels on the House M32 console for my system drive. Each set at Unity and routed accordingly. I disabled their console house EQ and used my console for my house EQ. After the parade was finished, we were finally able to make noise. I rushed through some system checks and then we were ready for the sound check. I almost always start with drums, and that's what I did here. In this case, rather than a kick in and a kick out mic, there was a kick mic and a kick trigger channel. I spent a little extra time on the kick than normal because I wanted to decide how to blend those two sources. Since the band is all in-ear monitors with their own monitor rig, nothing I do on front of house has any impact on their monitor mix. And since they carry their own mic package with their monitor rig, their monitors are pretty much preset from the start with just minor tweaks necessary. And they have control of that on stage. Switching to the snare here. I added the bottom mic to the snare drum so that I could blend in some snare sizzle without having to rely on the EQ from only the top mic. Thank you. 
four. Sounds pretty good. Ready for whatever you want to send me. These first two keyboards are stereo, so I already stereo linked these when I created my baseline show file. The guitar channels are stereo, so they're also stereo linked, like the keys. Let's just go ahead and start with stage right. Two, two, one, two. Are you sounding good? Two, two, one, two. 
Check one two, hey hey. Check 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 one two. Check check check, hey hey hey. One two. After a couple of partial song run-throughs, it was time for a great home cooked meal in catering. And then it was time to roll the intro. I'll leave affiliate links in the text below for the console and the microphones in this video, as well as links to other videos like this and other live production tutorials. I'll upload the console scene to the Patreon page. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.